There's always a risk, but I think that the, all the countries are working very hard and trying hard to get it settled this year. Because if you miss this year, uh, after the US midterm elections, you do not know what Congress will look like. And then they are into the next US presidential elections. And that, that will be a very, uh, the US will have other preoccupations. So they're trying very hard to complete this year. Uh, I think all the countries, Japan, the US, want to settle this. But the question is, are they prepared to make the decisions which will enable them to settle this? And between Japan and the US, is a, significant decisions have to be taken. On the uh, Japanese side, you want to ask the US for access to, for example, the auto market, which is uh, where the Japan's very competitive exports have uh, tariffs, face tariffs. On the American side, they believe that it is important for Japan to open up on very sensitive issues, uh, rice, beef, dairy products, pork, sugar. Uh, and these are things which I think it is in Japan's interest to do, but of course you have to judge how you can present this politically and uh, make the concessions in a way which can be seen to be beneficial to Japan. So I hope it will be settled this year. From Singapore's point of view, we don't mind because uh, we are not agricultural exporters. Mm, right. <laughs> but from Japan's point of view, I think a statement that uh, you have to make a very significant change from the status quo, where your agricultural products were very, very protected from the world markets, uh, I think that is uh, desirable and necessary for Japan. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to do, but I think the status quo is not sustainable. The average age of a farmer in Japan is 67, 68 years old. Correct. It is very difficult to farm and plant rice when you are 68 years old. So I do not think that Japan should cast this as a nationalist issue, that America is pushing Japan on TPP, and therefore Japan has to push back, and we should rouse nationalist sentiments and talk about uh, the uniqueness of uh, the Japanese market or products. This is a cooperative exercise. In a trade negotiation, both sides will bargain hard. But that's trade. And after you finish a bargaining, you sit down, have dinner, you drink sake with one another. Right. <laughs>